Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 29. What does lightning taste like? Thursday, June 22nd, 2017, and today is a delicious day, a day that's cream-filled and puffed up and covered with chocolate, because today is Chocolate Chocolate Eclair Eclair Day. Day! Many people think eclairs are just elongated donuts filled with cream and topped with icing. However, this is not the case. Eclairs are special because they are made with a shoe dough instead of your typical donut dough. Shoe dough is made with butter, eggs, water, and flour. This is the same kind of dough that is used to make dumplings and churros. The eclair originated in Europe in the 1800s. Or should I say the 1800s? It was first called Petite Duchesse. While the word éclair is seen in both English and French around the 1860s, éclair in France means lightning. Is it because you eat it so fast? (laughs) While the exact origin of the éclair is contested, which who wouldn't want to be responsible for this beauty? Historians tend to attribute the creation of this marvelous pâte à choux to Marie-Antoine Carême, the famous French chef. And that brings us to... Today in History. In 1910, the Zeppelin Deutschland was the first airship with passengers to set afloat. I've got an airship for you. That's not dropping bombs. The giant airships known as Zeppelins are named after Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who invented them. Now, Zeppelin patented the Zeppelin in 1895, and the first flight took place on July 2nd of 1900. Count Zeppelin founded the world's first airline in 1909, promoting the use of airships for travel, and on June 22nd in 1910, the Deutschland carried 20 passengers from Friedschaffen to Dusseldorf, a distance of 300 miles in 9 hours. That's some slow riding. Now, it's time to put all your pastries aside, because today is... Onion Onion Rings Rings Day. Day! Like many of the greatest recipes, the origin of the onion ring is unknown. However, in 1933, Crisco posted a recipe for onion rings in an ad. And that's how they lure them in. They say, oh hey, we're great for cooking and many variety of things, but especially the onion ring. He just dipped on in like that. They're so good. Didn't even wait. Homemade onion rings. Look at this. If y'all had a plate of these sitting in front of you, it wouldn't matter what you were doing, you would bite into it. Half of them are gone already. Mm Mm-hmm. But I can't blame. In the 1920s, the Texas restaurant chain Kirby's Pig Stand was one of many self-proclaimed creators of the onion ring. They also claim that they created Texas toast. And lastly, we have John Mollard's cookbook from 1802, which has a recipe for deep-fried onions cut into half-inch rings and battered and fried with Parmesan cheese. So, take away the Parmesan cheese, you're exactly describing onion rings. Now, the recipe even mentions a dipping sauce with which to enjoy these savory rings. My favorite dipping sauce is like a mustard mixed with mayonnaise kind of dip. What about you? Well, the original dipping sauce that Mallard created was a mustard mixed with melted butter. So, if you guys ever want to try that out and see how old-fashioned onion rings used to taste, why not try sprinkling a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top? 
and then dip it in some uh, melted butter mustard mix. See how it goes. And let us know how it goes in the comment section below. And let us know what your favorite dipping sauce is for your onion rings. And after that, let us know what your favorite filling is for your eclairs. And after that, go find a zeppelin that hasn't blown up or crashed to take a ride on. And while you're floating high up there looking down at everybody, try to take your onion rings and see if you can ring it on a treetop on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.